Hey everybody, Brian Swanson along with Sean Anderson, and Sean Anderson is a very happy man you today. Uh, Sean Anderson is a very happy man today. Thank you. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. You're welcome. Congratulations. Your Patriots are a game away from possibly another Super Bowl, well, from a, possibly another another Super Bowl appearance, possibly another Super Bowl victory if they if they're able to get there. So, this is exciting. This is mm-hmm. an exciting time for you. You're wearing one two right now. I you know, this is going to be a good game that the Patriots are going to be playing against the Pittsburgh Steelers. The Pittsburgh Steelers beat the Kansas City Chiefs. They didn't even score a touchdown, and they defeated Kansas City, who has uh, some issues to get figured mm. out uh, over the offseason. But, Sean, please, Pittsburgh and New England, what are your thoughts? Well, let's jump into Pittsburgh first because obviously I can talk all day about the Patriots. I'll get the Pittsburgh Steelers out of the way first. The key for the Pittsburgh Steelers is you have to score. You cannot go six field goals in a game and expect to beat Tom Brady. You have to score, and when you get into the red zone, you have to get touchdowns because you're able to get a ton of yards on Kansas City like most teams were, but Kansas City also let up about 19 points per game, and Steelers uh, uh, scored 18 off of six field goals. So if you're going to beat the Patriots, you need to put the ball into the end zone. I think that's very clear. They're able to move the ball down the field with Le'Veon Bell and he's going to be the key for the Steelers to score because he's been breaking Steelers records before this postseason I believe the most rushing yards in a game for Steelers 151 yards in uh, the wild card week- weekend he had like 160 last week he had 171 if he can do that again the Patriots are going to have a tough time keeping them out of the end zone because the previous matchup I believe he had around 81 yards was 21 attempts on 81 uh, and, and 81 yards but they were also going up against Landry Jones now you have Big Ben but Big Ben is significantly worse on the road, I believe. At home, he's throwing like 20 touchdowns to five interceptions. But on the road, you know, he he significantly go goes down. His his completion percentage goes from like 73 to 59. He's thrown 20 touchdowns and five interceptions at home, but away from Heinz Field, around nine touchdowns to eight interceptions. So, Le'Veon Bell is going to probably need to take the brunt of the work for the Steelers to get into the end zone and get a win here. But for the Patriots here, you cannot play like you did last week because the Texans, while that defense is fantastic, you cannot you know, f- turn over the ball as much as you did. Two interceptions for Tom Brady, three fumbles for Deion Lewis. Not all of them went for the Texans, but still, ball security is going to be huge for the Patriots. You need to play um, at least like you did defensively against the Texans. But again, you're going up against Brock Osweiler, not this crazy killer B offense of Brown, Bell, and Big Ben. But for the Steelers, uh, for the Patriots, I'm sorry, as long as you keep the ball on your side and are able to punch the ball in and, and score, uh, unlike Kansas City was able to, you'll be able to win this game. So it's going to be a very close game. I mean, Kansas, it's, the Steelers are on a pretty much a seven game win streak. You know, it's pretty out, it's outshined by the Packers current win streak. But the Steelers are completely red hot. And, and the way this offense has been working with Le'Veon Bell being an absolute terror, it's, it's difficult and, and, and nerve wracking for these uh, for Patriot fans like me to see. But. You know, I have faith in Tom Brady. 11 out of 15 seasons he's been in the AFC Championship game. Uh, six of them he's won, and, and that's a pretty good completion. Or that's a pretty good percentage uh, of making it to the AFC Championship and winning it. And he's going for his fifth ring. I think he's going to get the shot at it, whether it's against Matt Ryan or Aaron Rodgers. I will take the Patriots here 34-31. to Sean, as you have all season, you've gone out on a limb by picking the Patriots. Mm-hmm. And, and it looks like, uh, Sean, for the viewers, it looks like you're doing a little something different with your hair. It's called the nope. Messy Front. That's pretty much it. And uh, it's windy there's, there's usually it's a party in the back, some business in the front, but you got you got just gonna party all over the place. Anyways, folks, thanks so much for tuning into this video. Like this video, subscribe to MVP, check out our Patreon page, and enjoy this game. It's gonna be a good one. Patriots and Steelers. Keep it right here on MVP and check out the NFC Championship game preview as well. Ricky and Mark will have that.